Within the past two weeks, I was able to do three of these summons, three of these summons, and I even did the 200 stone version of this one. They just recently took it down. And I'm back at 65, about to do another multi summon, and I'm gonna show you exactly how I did that. Okay, so this is the part two of a video that I made a, a few months ago. So if you haven't watched that one, watch that one first and come back to this one. Uh, I'm gonna talk about a bunch of tips on how to get stones much, much faster. Okay, so in the last video, I mentioned you gotta do all these Z battles right here. Uh, every, every time I believe until mission number 30, uh, level 30, you start getting stones from each one of them. That's literally 30 times however many missions are here, but also, another way to get stones is doing the story and the growth right over here. You can, obviously, you can get stones from challenges as well, but this is actually the longest way to get stones. Um, this is mostly for if you want to Dokkan Awaken a character. Uh, what you want to do is the growth and the story right here. Story comes out, a new story comes out once every few weeks, and um, each of them have, you get a stone from every time you complete a level, and each of them have like what, like five levels? Um, and two different difficulties every level super easy to complete literally these take one or two minutes to complete every level Basically getting a stone a minute sometimes a stone every like 45 seconds um, If you just if you just complete it consistently same thing with the growth as well first You want to go back to the home screen. And you're gonna go to mission the mission is super super important this is um if you go here to special missions, these are where majority of the, the stones are kept. So if you look under here, look, you see all these stones right here? This is more for like late game, advanced players. You start running out of missions to get stones from, so you can complete tasks here for stones. Like for example, uh, right here, this is the win the extreme Z battle, Rose Stain Super Saiyan level 20 or higher, and you get a stone for that. This is potentially hundreds and hundreds of stones right over here. This is also for more advanced players. You could try to level up. If you do the last mission, of the story mode if you have already completed the story mode if you do this last mission over and over again you get four times xp which means that you're going to level up really quickly and uh you can grind some levels and if you level up I, th I believe it's every 20 levels i think you um look at this every 20 levels you get like five stones like that until you reach another 100. So I'll get 20 stones once I reach 400. Also, going back to the story and growth tabs in this little event button over here. If you run out of those ones, there's also more here under the portal of memories. You just need some uh, some keys, which the, the game naturally just gives you in the, you have, you have access to so many missions right here and you don't even need stamina. So once I run out of this 29 stamina right here, I could just hop into one of these missions and I could just complete them. Uh, to get some extra stones. All right, last step. Once you're approaching the very end and you have, and you've done all these, you've done all these missions, you've done all the, all the story, all the growth, most of the events, and you don't you just don't know what to do. You can always hop in the ultimate clash. You've got to have a lot of URs for this one, but if you're pretty late in the game, you can progress pretty far here, and you can always get some stones over here. Let's take a look. See right off the bat for the first mission, three stones, three stones three stones, four stones, see? All right, and that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys next week.